Our next performer is Alhami finalist poet and screenwriter, originally from the Viejas Indian Reservation of the Kumeyaay Nation. He is author of the books IRL, Nature Poem, Junk, Feed, and co-hosts the podcast Food for Thought. I once walked into my cubicle office admin like section and saw like four gays reading his book at the same time who I didn't even know read books. <laughs> so I was super impressed but on like many levels. Uh, and then of course I was like, have you guys bought my book? And they were like, no. <laughs> They're like, this one's better. They're right. Uh, please give it up for Tommy Pico. Hi. November 5th at the Ace Hotel, I'm launching it. It's called Feed. Um, I started to realize that, like, so I have these other books, right? I wrote four books in four years, NBD. Um, but I started to realize, um, I wrote them when I lived in New York. I lived in New York for 15 years. I live here again. Um, but I'm, like, primordially a uh, Southern California, a person from Southern California. You know what I mean? Like, I grew up on a new reservation outside of San Diego. Like, my people were never removed from their ancestral land. So it's like, I'm primordially in Southern California, and, and being in the Northeast for 15 years, I started to really um, get mm, put off by seasons, because <laughs> they have them there. And it's like, here, it's like, oh, I'm gonna fuck around and put on a denim jacket, like, that's winter. Um, and so I unknowingly wrote an ode to the season. So my first book, IRL, is a summer poem. My second book, Nature Poem, uh, is a fall poem. My third book, Junk, is a winter poem. And this one, Feed, is a spring poem. And it's about reconciliation. It's also like in those four books, I was cycling through a relationship. So the first one is the crush, the second one is the relationship, the third one is the breakup, and this one is like, can you be friends again? And it started, it started off as a commission from the High Line um, Park in New York, which is like an, uh, an elevated, it used, to, it used to be a train line, and it is now a long park that runs through um, the west side of New York. And yeah, so it's kind of about that. It's an epistolary poem. I feel like you're going to like it. And I have, oh, this is the other thing. I, I, mean, I have 10 copies of the new book. Um, if you would like one, hit me up afterwards at $15. I accept Venmo and PayPal and cohort cash. Um, but don't tell anybody that you got it because it doesn't actually come out until November 5th. So like, but, it's, but I need some money, so. <laughs> so this is from Feed. Dear reader, I've been thinking a lot about stretch denim that doesn't also have a stretchy waistband, by which I mean nature's cruelest disagreements. And I've been thinking about the slobbering of heat that is the promise of spring. Today, to wear out the woozy, to giddy the skittish dizzy into a steady, simple rush of stillness, I buttered around the city listening to the cranberries as the air around me bounded into its summer self. But literally two weeks ago, there was a blizzard that thawed into a song. Plants have the most complicated biochemistry in nature. It's not explicit, their influence, but powerful as passive aggression. Family, like a forest. Home grows wherever I go. Trees of forests of families gabbing at the roots. Wild tobacco developing nicotine as a toxin to shoo away insects who feed on the leaves. I guess this is a dirge to the future I thought we could have. Not all plants were meant to grow together in the same microclimate. Some things grow apart instead. Walking the high line, not far from where we first met, in the seats by the popsicle stand. Blackberry ones were the best. Mango, second to the best. Coconut was trash. <laughs> I think, I think you want to be with someone so clearly, so deep. It just doesn't feel like you want to be with me. Leo looked up at me, full Eeyore face. I've been thinking the same thing. Nations are always outlived by their cities. The train stopped running. Interstate trucking, global air travel, containerized shipping left the hanging train hanging. And even there, 
to have engines of appetites in a city, in a state, in a nation, in a world, in a solar system, in a galaxy, in a universe where the only constant is change? Body roll with the punches and the punchlines and the I can't stand the rings? Yes, our high lines stopped running, but it didn't go away. Because you see, dear reader, in the garden, dry foliage from the previous year's growth gives its sugars to the new generation. It helps protect plants from desiccating and freezing in the winter, shelter for birds, hibernating butterflies, and other insects, a death cycle interwoven with the spring. It took time to forget about who we were together so we could come back with intention and not surrender. Jiggy says, that makes sense. Across from me at the Echo Park vegan brunch spot, mid sorrel bowl hoovering, your pheromones have to recalibrate. Spring is a season of reconciliation, a suture for the loss of winter and the summer's sweaty promises. Sparklers on the beach. It's July 4th, and we've said no to imperialism, but yes to public sex. We drive for hours because it is a it's an excuse to sing together, and I forget other people are around, and we're driving to the coast, and the radio is cranked all the way up, and our inhibitions cranked all the way down. Our layered associations, our accidental landscape. I tended to the garden of our memories like a recipe for feelings. The derelict railroad I see when I close my eyes, grown wild with Queen Anne's lace. I'm almost always talking to someone, but almost never seeing anyone, I say, as me and Leo pass through the Chelsea Market Passage and our voices bounce around the thrum of the crowd shuffling about us now. Our passage between and through the gently stalling masses like an obstacle course of bodies. I mean, the last time I really dated someone was, I look up at him while trailing off which is becoming a pebble feature of our pattern. Anyway, the wedding looked gorgeous from what I saw on Instagram. I say like a Hawaiian shirt in winter. Not quite believable, but go off. <laughs> and he shakes his head and eyes into me like shards of glass. And that's not what you really think. Stalled behind a double wide stroller, I stop and turn to him. Leo, for the love of God, you had flip flops made for the guests with your with both your freaking initials on them. I was praying that I would choke to death in my own vomit so I'd never have to see it again. <laughs> and Leo grins wide as the high line. In order to see what we would become, what we were supposed to be, we had to abandon ourselves. We had to go derelict, go wild, let the living dynamics of the world outside us grow over us separately, and then recreate our wilderness with a shimmering wildness, not constantly recreating our memory. Thank you.